Pat O'Day is everything. He is, well, he's been a boat owner, certainly. He's been the rock uh, guru in the Pacific Northwest since the 50s and 60s. Did you know he was also a botanist? And that's because he knows about a very specific tree that is the most famous tree in the Northwest. Pat. Well, you know, on the Columbia River in Tri-Cities in late July, the sun bears down unmercifully on that race course for the annual Columbia Cup. But they're in the pits, there is one truly remarkable feature, a giant spreading maple tree. It's at the east end of the pits. And it was the late, it was the late Bernie Little that uh, talked Budweiser into sponsorship of that race. And in the process, he assumed the enviable position in the shade underneath that wonderful tree for his race boats and crew and his big bus. Well, then a few years later, it was noted that this aged but gorgeous giant maple had developed what was thought to be a fatal disease as it began losing its leaves in the spring. Well, local experts opined that death was at hand for that mighty tree, and plans were made for its removal. But then Bernie heard the news, and Bernie shouted, Don't touch that tree! He immediately hired and sent the nation's top arboreal physicians to see if it could be saved. Now, in short, they injected it, or whatever tree doctors do to sick trees. But anyway, they defeated the disease, and here it is, as you see it in pictures I took over there just last weekend, in perfect, splendid health. Now, following Bernie's death, that oh-so-cherished spot in the pits was up for grabs. The Tri-City Race Committee determined that the winning team each year would earn the right to the following year for that enviable superior shaded spot in their pits. You know, last year, the Elstroms, Dave Villock, and Elam team had their beautiful orange equipment under that tree. But last year, shade and all, Elam was defeated by Steve, David, and the Oberto. So last week, and again this year, the old boy Oberto, who won last Sunday, and again next year, will enjoy that choice spot. Now, friends, if you knew the great Bernie Little, you know that he looks down from heaven and says, Yeah, it's true, only God can make a tree, but it took me, Bernie Little, to fix it. And that's why in Tri-Cities it is and will always be called the Bernie Tree. Pat O'Day, another bit of hydro <laughs> history. And Did we love Bernie or what? Well, here's a gentleman who spent some time with Bernie. Did you spend some time under his tree as well? I too? spent a lot of time under his tree, and I think Bernie gets a bum rap. I think when people saw Bernie as a competitor, they saw a pretty rough and ready guy, but Bernie was actually really a sweetheart, and I think Bernie was at his best when we were at our worst. When we won, he was a little uh, overbearing. When we lost, he was the first guy to get everybody in the truck say, forget it, it's over, I believe in you guys, let's get down the road and we'll do it again. You know, there were a lot of people, uh, Chip and Mike and Pat, who said that the sport night might not survive without Bernie Little and the kind of support that he garnered for hydroplane racing and here we are several years after he and the Budweiser team have gone and just moving right along. And also Budweiser is back with us again too. You know, Budweiser hasn't been part of Seafair for some time, but Budweiser is back with us this year and who knows? Someday there might be another big red boat with Bud on side. Mike, you've got lots of stories about uh, Bernie Little as well, don't you? We knocked heads a little bit along the way, yeah, and, uh, but I always respected him. I always thought, thought that he was, uh, uh, and it went, you know, in the 1960s when we were down and almost out with the uh, fatalities that we had and everything, if it hadn't been for Bernie Little, I don't think the sport would have had a life. And so uh, you, you have to credit him for that. And even though he fought uh, turbines and he fought uh, in closed cockpits, when he, when he finally gave in, he went at it uh, with 100% and made sure that everybody had the, the very best equipment for the safety of the sport. He was a very, very interesting fellow. And I think Pat O'Day does a great Bernie Little impression. Do that again. I like that. My name's Bernie Little. <laughs> uh, I, I think I can do better. Can I take a shot? Too? Yeah, take a shot. Chip, you got to get the inside. I'm telling you, if we don't get the inside, it's over for us. All right? You can do it, all right? This is too much. Get off don't my bus. Oh, my. Chip Hanauer does his best Rich Little of Bernie Little, for heaven's sakes. All right.